What sold day 126? The first sale of the day is this Croft and Borrow Quick Dry Shirt in a Men's XL Tall. This one was a little different because it had these sailboats all over it. It sold in 19 days for a best offer of $16 plus shipping. This is right on where they normally sell. I don't think that the sailboats added any value or took away any value. It sold for just about as much as it would for any of these uh, Croft and Borrow Quick Dry Shirts. They're never big sellers, but they are quick sellers as long as you price them right. So even if I pick these up for like seven bucks and I sell them for 16, I'm still happy with it because I'm moving them so quickly and these types of shirts are super easy to list. So number two is this Denim and Supply Ralph Lauren Henley shirt in a men's XL. As you can see in the photo, I left a couple of the buttons unbuttoned because it did have an American flag print underneath the buttons. And when there's little details like that, I do try to show them as best as I can. Those are the little things that help uh, sell the items quicker as well as help you get as much money as possible. So anytime you have little details like that on items, try to highlight them if you can. This one sold in three months for a best offer of $22 plus shipping. So number three is this Panhandle Slim Western shirt in a men's medium. This was a really unique color with this blue teal and it sold in two months for a full price of $25.46. or $25 That is the uh, discounted price because it was on sale though. Uh, it was 15% off. I think that means that it's between the two and three month range. So number four is this pair of Gymshark joggers in a men's small. I think they might have had some wear on them but they sold in three months for a best offer of $13 plus shipping. I think if these were in better condition or a bigger size, they would have sold in the 20-ish dollar range, but it, since they weren't, they didn't sell that well, and I'm probably only making a couple bucks on these. Uh, the next two or three items I think went to the same buyer. There are a couple uh, band t-shirts from the band t-shirt buyout where I bought them all for a little less than four bucks. Um, these two, or this one and the next one, both sold for $8 plus shipping. Like I said, they went to the same buyer and they did pay shipping for both of them. That's why I was willing to accept such a low offer. But honestly, I'm just trying to move these at almost any price that makes profit because these weren't the best buy. And here's another one of them. Um, they bought two different sizes. Like I said, same buyer. Uh, this is the next one. Also went to the same buyer. This is just a Scorpions band t-shirt. It was from the same buyout though. And they paid $10 for this one. They also paid shipping for this. So I think that's like $18 total in shipping. And it probably cost me about 8 bucks to ship the three of them together. So number 8 is this Polo Ralph Lauren swim trunks in a men's large. These sold in one month for a best offer of $8 plus shipping. They did have a flaw on the back of them and it's a winter time. So I'm just happy to move this item out. If not, it's going to be sitting around until summer anyways. Then it's probably going to hit like a 33% off sale at least. So I'm happy just to move it. I'm going to be breaking even or maybe even losing a dollar on this sale. The next two items went to the same buyer. They're uh, a pair of Polo Ralph Lauren lightweight sweatshirts in a men's large. I picked up like uh, seven or eight of these, I think, at the Rose Bowl flea market last month, and they have been selling well. Um, these sold for $23 plus shipping, and they were only listed for 13 days. And here's the other one, and I think they did pay shipping on both of them, so I was able to ship them together and make a few dollars on the shipping as well. Cell number, number 11 is this Lacoste polo shirt in a men's XL. This one sold in four months for a best offer of $20 plus shipping. I don't pick up the basic polo uh, po or the Lacoste polo shirts anymore unless they're super cheap or in excellent condition in a bigger size. But most of the time I find them, they're either worn out or they're shrunk. This one was a little bit more unique because it did have a little bit uh, different collar to it and the alligator was either like a blue or gray color. So I am willing to pick up the more unique ones. And like I said, this sold pretty well. Four months, $20 plus shipping. Not a bad sale for a Lacoste polo shirt. So number 12 is a Zegna polo shirt in a men's medium. Pretty basic plaid print on this or a, a grid, whatever you want to call it. Uh, kind of like a plaid print. But it sold in one month for a best offer of $17 plus shipping. This is a decent brand to be on the lookout for. Um, their regular shirts are okay. I mean, if you're picking them up at thrift store prices, then they're still going to be a decent flip, but their jackets and outerwear are usually the best things. Or if it's anything that has a more quality material like silk, linen, cashmere. So number 13 is this Masters Tech polo shirt in a men's large. I was actually really kind of sad about this sale. These used to sell really well. And I know it's not the right time to be selling these either, 
but this one was listed for almost one year and it sold for a best offer of $16 plus shipping. I didn't really want to accept this low of an offer, but it was getting very close to one year and at one year my item switched to 50% off. So it was going to sell for, it would have been listed for even cheaper than I sold this one for. So I'm happy to make the sale before it got to the 50% off, but I think that the rest of these I'll probably hold out till spring just because I think there's going to be a significant price change. Like I said, this sold for like 16 bucks in the winter. I think that this could be a 25 to $30 item in the spring. So number 14 is this Rain Spooner Hawaiian shirt in a men's XL. This is a plain white one with a little flag on the front of it. It did have some marks on it. So I'm happy that it sold in two months for the full sale price of $16.11. Plus shipping, this wasn't my 15% off sale, which are all items that have been listed from two to three months. So number 15 is this Disneyland Spirit Jersey in an Adult XL. It did have the puffy printed letters as well as tie dye, but there were a bunch of small, like, it looks like some kind of stain splattered on it. So I did sell this one for a bit less than I normally sell the Spirit Jerseys. Usually they sell in the $25 to $35 range. Uh, I got an offer in two days for $21 plus shipping, and with the stains on it, I was happy to accept. So number 16 in the final sale of the day, this is a Rain Spooner Trader Joe's employee Hawaiian shirt in a men's large. This sold in one day for a best offer of $25 plus shipping. I did a local buyout with a bunch of Trader Joe's items, t-shirts, sweatshirts, and Hawaiian shirts. The sweatshirts are by far the best sellers. Um, if you find the vintage ones, they can do even better, but even the new age ones sell for 25 to 35 bucks. The Hawaiian shirts are probably the second best seller, being in the 20 to $30 range, depending on the year and print on it. And then the t-shirts are probably the worst seller, but still not that bad, selling in the 14 to $20 range. And uh, this doesn't say Rain Spooner on it, but as you can tell from the tag, that is definitely made by Rain Spooner for Trader Joe's. That's it for the sales. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for day 127 of the What Sold series. Peace.